This kind of work may be the key to vastly increasing your income. You may notice that none of these renders are particularly extraordinary or hard to make. To be clear, design is great and there's a number of ways to make a great living off of traditional 3D skills like modeling and texturing, but product renders are only a small part of what makes a brand, and 3D renders alone don't do too much to move the needle towards getting sales as a company. This is why I want to remind you that any skill you can acquire that helps someone else get paid is a skill of value. In other words, your income is in proportion to the value that you provide. Go ahead and start by going on Facebook Ads Library. And if you don't know, Facebook Ad Library is free and it basically lets you browse all the ads that people run on Facebook platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Go ahead and set your country to your target country. I'm just gonna do United States because that's where I am. Your ad category should be at all ads. And then you may have to do some trial and error here, but I've had reasonable results just looking at sleep products. You're gonna wanna make sure you search this exact phrase. And since the overwhelming majority of ads on here are total garbage, I'm gonna come up here to filters, do English only. Platforms are gonna be Facebook and Instagram and then media types are gonna be images and memes. And just for clarity, memes just uses AI to search for your keyword inside of images. And then I'm gonna search for active ads. I'll go into more detail about this later. I'm gonna zoom in my screen for you guys a little bit here. So I'm just gonna scroll through here and look for something that would be good for a render. Here's an example right here. You can see they started running it December 11th, which is yesterday. Very millennial slash Gen Z marketing going on. This isn't quite what we're looking for though, so I'm gonna keep going. Okay, here's a good example here. So you may be wondering why I think this is a good example, and I'm gonna tell you why. A good indicator can be the age. So you can see that this started running on December 4th, which is uh, eight days ago as of recording this video. And the reason it's a good sign for this to be running for eight days is that it was likely immediately profitable for the advertiser. So basically, if you're not familiar, these businesses are gonna be buying ad creatives off of designers like us in bulk and basically just testing 50 to 100 at a time depending on the scale they're doing. In many cases, they may even put up 10 or 15 ads that look just like this, but with slight changes in, in the wording or the color. This is called split testing. So the point of what they're doing there is they're blasting the platform with a ton of different ads and collecting data. And the ones that immediately perform terribly get turned off or they use the data to compare them to other similar winning ads. And yes, you may be wondering, this probably isn't a render. This looks like photography, but it's the principle of the ad that we're looking for here. We, we don't necessarily need renders right now. But anyways, let's say you're doing a sleep-related product for your client. It would be a reasonably good idea to make an ad that looks like this, given that we can see that it is probably performing. So yeah, little trends come and go here all the time. That's why we're searching for only active ads. We want ads that are performing and have been performing for at least a week or so. Now I did some more research and found some more ads, and I think this is going to be the one that we go for for this video. All right, so I've gone ahead and built an on-brand version of this exact ad, basically, just with my own product and my own colorways. And I figure most of you guys who are watching this video probably don't need a tutorial, considering this is literally how simple this whole, this whole scene is. Just a brief overview, this is literally a plain white box. This is a plant I downloaded from Blender Kit here, link in description for 10% off. And this little disc here is meant to look like the moon when it's behind this plant. As for this sunset background, it's literally just an orange light up against a dark blue colored plain. And then this is a product that I've designed here. I just wanna remind you that for whatever platform you're working on, you gotta think about the aspect ratio. I'm gonna put a really good aspect ratio cheat sheet in the description that I use all the time. If your ads are gonna be a square, just make sure you get your X and Y's right for that. If you're making an ad for an Instagram story, just make sure that uh, that is Instagram story sized. But yeah, really, this took me like 20 minutes or less. So I'm gonna go ahead and render this one out. But anyways, after rendering it out, I like to just increase the exposure and the contrast a little bit as well as the saturation, just make it really, really pop. If you look at it before and after, it's a pretty big difference. But really after that, we're ready for the Illustrator part. Now, once it's in Illustrator, we're just gonna add the text and basically copy this thing one-to-one, -one, which I should mention is pretty normal and totally acceptable in this industry. Now, really, we're just copying the concept and adding some on-brand fonts. So yeah, hopefully you get the gist of this process. In summary, we basically just found an ad that's working well and we repurposed it for our own brand and used some more youthful language that goes along with this brand image that we're building here. So for anybody who drinks alcohol, this should be at least somewhat of a scroll stopper. Anyways, if you're a 3D artist and you have any interest in making money with your skills, this is what we do over here. This is the place to be. So please hit me with a like and a subscribe if you got any value out of this. Yes, I'm aware that this video is basically a lot of people's bridge from design only into marketing, but if you have to guess which one pays more, the unfortunate truth is that marketing just pays way more. I think for most people, this is an awesome way to break into a much higher paying industry while still holding on to the aspects of design that we all know and love. If you guys have any questions about this video or anything else please feel free to drop them in the comments i'll do my best to respond to everybody i appreciate each and every one of you for your support if you have any video ideas please feel free to recommend them in the comments below i hope you all have a great day see ya